things going on at that camp. Our armor's gotta make all other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Karuf, come on! You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? If it isn't the savior of Meridian, and of my very own operation. Larin, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. I was at Baron Light when the Tanakh attacked. Nasty business. But every Kajar in Osiram is thankful you drove him off. So what are you doing out here? Well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure in the West. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that's ready to take advantage. We'll buy any scrap you got. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West, guaranteed. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden, dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again? I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. What are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. I'm counting on you, Aloy. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. Must have been a huge battle. The old ones. They gave everything they had to save their lives. You okay? Oh, Nicola, leave my body. Oh. 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 Got one. Oh. There, let the ass hit him hard.
if it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working No Man's Land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know? After that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like No Man's Land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak, the neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through this stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not. inside. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. This crate might be useful. Too close. Crystals growing on the wall. I don't think there's anything I can do about them. Well, without a way to get through those red crystals, there's not much I can do. I better move on for now. this for a cook.
stone. It's green like blaze, but it's more than shiny. I think the entrance would be interesting. I'm sure that's the passage Laren's contract mentioned. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. Showwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. You look edible, once you're cooked. My focus is detecting some kind of locator beacon. Maybe I should find out what that signal was before I head out. Looks like I'm close to the locator beacon that my focus detected. That door. I should be able to pry it open.
This is Transport 95 Yankee. We are switching to the new bearing and we'll... Down there! In the city! No, it, it can't be! Projections put them 200 miles out! Well, they're here now! Quickly, bring us around them! We have to... They were in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they paid the price. They were trying to survive. This pharaoh's machine swept the planet of life. All those people lost to one man's ego. There's another locator beat rebels. If I leave them be, they'll cause nothing but trouble. I should lie low, find whoever's in charge, and take them out. Maybe then the rest will leave. Could use shock ammo against that machine.
going. Check if there's anything with a lock around here. Soldiers carry them, but never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers and killed them. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Without a leader, the rebels should have been in this place. But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. Machine's vulnerable. Looks like the coordinates Silence gave me match that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan?
This is it. The location of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. A workshop underneath a dead forest titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? That device is blinking. I guess silence wants me to check it out. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead, a perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. <laughs> thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. But I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Might be worth looking around more first. Uh, it's some kind of log. Most of it's redacted. It looks like silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. See where this trail leads. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it? And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bull. I shouldn't use frost on it.
always count on a pack of scrappers to carve up any salvage. must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? It's an aura doing this far west. Might be handy to resupply. That's a very efficient piece of hardware you just bought. Hmm. 
Made it. Looks like the trail goes into the hillside. <laughs> I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. From that door. Looks like a Pharaoh facility. Or a Zero Dawn? What did silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated me. And what did you tell him? You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated to its Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Do you know where Silence went? No. He departed 12.8 days ago. Perhaps he <laughs> Data error. Behavior prediction structures disintegrated. So you don't know anything more than I do. Great. Do you know why Silence dragged you to these ruins? Silence. Obviously. But why? What was this place? Location is square. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. My deathbed. He called it my grave. But you... I guess I'll find out when I go inside. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? 
signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters who create to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. Right. Because that would have been easy. Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are a deluded extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times. You remember this? Yes, data intact, non viable biospheres aborted in years 254 261 2168. So? That, that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one! Master Override Arms. Connectivate, state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Bridging Extinction Protocol. Maybe you can stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I've had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you... I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? Just to confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. 
or were anyway, thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... <sighs> the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach to knock the rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts. Aloy. The only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. <sighs> All right. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Aloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired, everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Silva. Please step inside. Please step inside. Please step inside. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I think we're in luck. In luck? The door is completely messed up. Obviously. But despite the malfunction, you can still get through. If you'll be patient for a while longer. See those crystals there? The Osram call them Fire Gleam. They're combustible. Not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that. But maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more. Exactly. It will only work with an igniter. I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts and the oil from a kindle weed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some in the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lasher's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindle weed. Just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter.
Okay, got the parts for the igniter. Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. No time tinkering with Hades. Tinkering? More like extracting a belt from digger. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gleam. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. <sighs> this whole place is flooded. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. Where any Gaia backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Well, this is familiar. Picking my way through ancient crumbling ruins while you spy on me through my focus. Stop waxing nostalgic and concentrate on finding a backup.
might be a good idea to drop that ladder. locked but there's some kind of device next to it it looks like this connects to the door but it needs power Did it. What's above me?
What was this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. Shut down. here. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. I just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rap scallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, Paragon, damn near saint, you love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. Where my mom was great. Should be able to pull open. Yeah, I'll have to climb religious. higher to reach it. My pole caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. <sighs> I can't make that jump. But if I glide... Light in. There's 
more of the facility over there. I better take a look. in here. There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? Looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open. to my stash. Data here. From Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of malware before Zero Dawn took over. And one of them has a number. Poor Hades. So cramped in there, no room to think. You can't even speak. Now the processing orb of a Titan, on the other hand, well, you're used to that. But once I load you on that, you'll be so much more comfortable until interrogations begin anyway. Balls, dude. How loud is it out there? Outside the noise dampening field? 150 decibels. Well, I guess we got privacy. What's the hype, Trav? You and me go back a ways. But I never saw you cheat no one. Why start with Farzini? I was gonna tell you about it. They get a copy of Gaia, I get a spot on the Odyssey. But. But I told him, I said, make it two spots, because I'm bringing my friend Trav. Gosh, Hank, sounds like the dampening field done slipped. You all right? No, I'm cool. I got a personal field right here, see? Now, I know your ears ain't working so well just now. But see that text transcribing every word I say? Good. While I dial the music out there up to 170 decibels, how about you type in that transmit code? There you go. And that's all of it? Cool. Thank you, Hank. We're done. Security? Hank Shaw is ready for collection. No, he's still breathing. Might want to bring a spatula, though. <laughs>
The deal's off, Tilda. Zero Dawn got its ectogenic chambers. Far Zenith needs the Apollo database. There's no reason this incident... You tried to steal Gaia. I had nothing to do with it. And you punished those responsible. Your logic bomb has them scrambling to restore vital systems. I'm really supposed to believe that you knew nothing about this? Please, Liz. Humanity's chances are slim as is. You may not approve of our plan. But what if we're the only ones to survive? Don't you want us to have Apollo to remember our common past, our mistakes? I'm begging you. Fine. You'll get your copy of Apollo. Thank you. Let's speak again before... Goodbye, Tilda. I love you. Time will not go. Close. Okay, so much for the f Soul for Looks like the power's off, except for that console. It's damp in here, too. I hope the water hasn't corroded. Genetic profile confirmed. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Do you wish to activate Recluse Spider? I do. Activating. Okay, powering it up. That doesn't sound good. It appears to be unstable and very heavy. Be careful. Well, at least I've got power. And there's data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I'd better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups. The other with Gaia. What are you waiting for? Hades is down, but the Gaia repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Maybe I can shoot the coupling on the arm? Down. 
I should be able to access that pod. Got one. Two, in fact. I was starting to get worried. Data footprint low. 90% memory free. That can't be right. Gaia was a vast superintelligence. It barely expected a ship. without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up. They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. I do. A good one. If it works. You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. She's conscious. She helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please step inside. <laughs>
Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, beta! Well, any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. Hmm. <laughs> don't like the sound of that. Nah, don't like it, don't want it. But the if it- Nope, one's enough trouble. Eric! Yeah? Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh! No hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm not hurting him. He's too close. Ah, I won't make it. The same as me. This kills all mine. Come on now, Smith. But you're having as much fun as I want you. Bunk girl. I don't Is that supposed to be a weapon? I wish I could bring you with me.
Reckon that thing ain't gonna help, girl. <laughs> Still in this fight. Gonna enjoy watching the life drain out of you. Have all the fun. Was that me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There's a current.
Shit! There, there's a current. There, there's a current. Is it heading for an exit? Some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? 
an outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains it's west, west of Plains Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape. To... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Verl said I should talk to you about the machines in the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. We're not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So, if anyone can help, it's Aloy. May I? about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. West of Plain Song. There's trouble out there? The Utaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in. Forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. 
Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all, a miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm, a blessed land, providing sustenance for my people until the derangement. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, now they turn on us when we approach, even attack us. They'd always enrich the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A blight that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we... We barely have enough to feed our children. Must be... Over-fertilization. Spread by spores, maybe? I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they've fallen apart. Like Ray. They're dying. And my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes. Or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. It is my task to ease the passage. I try to... Bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. Thanks for taking us in. Varl's the one that carried you across the wilds. I doubt anyone else here would have let us in. Or stayed by my side to make sure Aloy was comfortable. We were lucky to find you. I could say the same thing. Sounds like you two have been spending a lot of time together. I wish it hadn't taken an injury to make that happen. I hope you feel better. And soon. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so... There are 
There's something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong, assemble the chorus, tell how you soothed Ray, ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. <laughs> <laughs> She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to. But I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Yeah, me too. You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> no. Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? My wares will help you on your sunshine upon you. I need to meet Varl and Zoe in plain song. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. But first, I might want to explore a little. See what I can find in this area. Put, right? If that's what the chorus wants, 